Lions Fan TV, Mill 3, Luton 1. I have to say the first half was 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 dire, honestly. We we had we had a lot of the ball, we weren't really doing much with it. I mean I don't know it was worse my hangover or that first half because it was it was shocking. I, I could barely watch it to be honest. It was uh, as I said we had a lot of the ball but you know we gave away a silly free kick at the 40th minute and uh, yeah Luton put it in and we weren't marking properly so you know I thought it was going to be one of them ones like Barnsley where we're just going to sort of let the uh, sort of bottom half team do us and thankfully Rowett saw what was going wrong we had the three centre backs like we have been doing and it's been going well but I think I think you might have realised that against teams like Luton and Barnsley, teams like that, we got we got to be a bit more attacking. We don't need that third centre back, uh, sort of doing all, doing all the dirty work, winning the first and second ball. We actually need a bit more players up the pitch. And although I didn't think Matt Smith had his best game, him partnered with Bradshaw actually meant that we were retaining the ball in the final third a lot better. I still think there's a lot of work to do with that partnership if it is going to sort of go ahead for the teams like Luton. But for now, you know we. We got the ball in the right areas in the second half. We were passing with a much quicker tempo, and you know, uh, the first goal was a sort of Smith knockdown and Bradshaw empty net, and that's what we wanted to see. You know, for the Matt Smith actually making a difference in that final third of the pitch, and you know, Bradshaw's going to score when he's given the chance. He's shown it time and time again. Uh, Jed Wallace, you know, he had a, a, a superb game as well. He's making so many good runs that I think in the first half Malumbi and Williams did really capitalise on but as the game went into the second half we was, again I feel Rowett must have really got into those players because we were doing the right things yeah at times in the second half we did we were a bit sloppy but all in all like I was so happy with it it shows like a game like today actually does show like we, we can we can progress in this division um, the second goal was a bit of class from Mahoney, a little fake shot, and then bottom corner of his weaker foot. And then the third goal, I, I, I said, oh, he's going to have a bit of confidence now when he scores that second. And then he whipped it in, and Matt Smith, I mean, it was definitely harder to miss that. And he's put it in the net, 3-1. Oh, if he was laughing at the end, I'm, I'm so happy we got that result, because it would have been sort of, if losing to Luton and Barnsley would have highlighted a lot of weaknesses in our team in terms of how we keep the ball and how we attack. Because against if we could play teams like Leeds and West Brom and Charlton every week, probably be in the automatic spots. But you know we got if if Rowett can get these type of performances on a more consistent basis, then we're we're definitely going to be in the top half. And there you have it. I mean, towards the end we were olaying. Like when's that ever happened at the Den? I mean, as I said in the last um, post match, could be could be a, a start of a, of a of a good good era under Rowett. I don't want to get too ahead of myself made clear what I want in the transfer window, one or two quality players to sort of bolster the attack, give competition to places. But, you know, I, I don't really see much that he needs to sort of change, just keep it, keep up the sort of ideas that Rowett's been implementing. And hopefully, you know, that we've got at Newport in the Cup on Saturday, give give some of the players that haven't really had a chance to, you know, give him a go, see his likes of Scalak, maybe start Mahoney, see, like, give him a, because he, 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 so he turned up today. If, if he can get a run of games going, hopefully he can sort of, you know, boost his stats off a bit. Because he showed at the beginning of the season he's got a good ball in. And if he can add a bit of goals, then maybe we have a, a, a sort of Wallace-type player on the other side. There you go. Happy New Year, everyone.